in this case, uh, can they use each other yes. to, for, yes. to, to yes. sell stuff? Yes. 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 Do they need each other? No. No. Okay, great. So, would you agree 7 Eleven is a Coke distributor or a Pepsi yes. distributor? Yes. yes. Everybody understand that, mes that message, right? Yes. Okay, great. So, now we'll give you a, a food one. Anybody worked in fast food before? Fast food. Right. Whataburger, any Whataburger people? Who worked at Whataburger? Yes, sir, DJ, that's my boy. I only worked there because you could choose your schedule. So I worked from 9 p.m. to, to... Okay, anybody know Cisco? Yes. Okay, so for example... That's the point, nobody knows it. Okay. Uh, Burger King. Okay, so Cisco is like the, the not, the, it looks like it's a pyramid, right? But it's not. It's, Cisco is, hear me out real fast. Cisco is a restaurant supplier. So like the straws, the buns, the things that fast food restaurants buy in bulk, they sell it. So it's funny because our, our McDonald's and Burger King competitors. Yes. Yeah, so do they want each other, do, do they want the other one to, to lose or win? Lose. They want the other one to lose. However, they both buy the stuff from the same company. So, is Cisco interested in selling the both? Yes. They're both. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. So our business, okay, so, and, and you can give me any example. Our business is no different, okay? We work with several uh, companies, okay? So let's let's look at, for example, I'm gonna give you one. We work with SCI, what's a smart circle. We work with, uh, what's this company, Summit Retail Solutions. It doesn't matter, these companies nobody knows. It's like Cisco. We also work with Innovage. We also work with uh, the Canadian one. I forgot what it is, okay? What's that? HelloFresh is not, but HelloFresh comes through. Yeah, so there's one in Canada. I don't know what the name is. It's a supplier company. The name is irrelevant. They don't do anything, okay? They, they do work, but they don't, they're not, they're not known. It's like Cisco. Like, when you think about fast food, you think about McDonald's or Cisco? McDonald's. Think about McDonald's, but Cisco's involved. Cisco, Cisco is definitely important. So. So we work, we are partnered with all of these different companies. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, they're supply, these companies are suppliers. They're just suppliers. That's all they do is, what does a supplier do? Supply. 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 So for, for 7-Eleven, who's a supplier? Pepsi. Pepsi's a supplier for 7-Eleven, and 7-Eleven is what? A distributor. A distributor. Do you see the business? Okay. So uh, McDonald's is what for Cisco? A McDonald's is a distributor. Cisco is what? Supplier. Right, but do you see like, and, and by the way, you can tell me any business in the world, and there's a supplier. The supplier is typically the unknown company that does the crappy work that needs to happen, like somebody needs to create these buns, right? <laughs> somebody needs to make the paper straws. Somebody needs to make, does that make sense? Yes. It happens in any business. Is it irrelevant? Kinda, but if there's some of you out there that you just wanna, you're anybody like a detailed oriented person? No. Amen for you. Okay, if you like details a lot, then that's great. I, I'm not the most detailed person, but but I like knowing about the business. So, point being is we work with these companies. Now, through these companies, we have partnerships to clients that are the ones that are most known. So let's say, so thanks to them, we work with Ready Refresh. Thanks to, oh, we also have uh, Credico here, which is now the person that helps uh, Dish, which is, everybody know the company Dish? Yes. Okay, Dish, through, G, through Dish, what do we get, Julian? Uh, Gen Mobile. Gen Mobile, which is who we work with. So just imagine it says Gen Mobile there. <laughs> okay. Uh, through here, we also work with Frontier. Internet. Isn't that cool? Uh, we just started, did we just started a new one here? We're going to start, Tracy's going to move. Tommy, Tracy's moving, he's doing it. I don't know if Tommy's here. Yeah. Tracy, hey, Tracy got an offer because he's running his business so well. Tracy's one of our owners. He's one of our managers. He finished the training program here in June of last year. He moved to Malibu. He just got an offer for somebody to pay him uh, 150, 120,000 a year reoccurring, 120,000 a year on top of what he's making, plus a $50,000 bonus to move from Ooh. Malibu to Cincinnati. Aww. To drop Ready Refresh, they're gonna drop Ready Refresh and they're gonna go to Inspire. So we have a new client called Inspire. It's called, it's clean energy. Basically, somebody knocks your door and they switch the supplier. I have no idea how it works, but I know it's blowing up. It's gonna come to Texas soon and it's going to California. What's that? Inspire clean energy. We, doing face-to-face, -face, like just basically going in the field, we represent 87% of their income. We do, is that cool? 
Is that a lot? Yes. Would you fire a, a, a person that does 87% of your paycheck? No, no, no. no right? So anyway, uh, through the Canadian group, there's a Canadian group, I'm not sure what the name is, it's irrelevant, it's a supplier. Did you care about Cisco before the business? Before, when you go to McDonald's, you're like, let me check, this is the bunzo from Cisco. <laughs> no, so should you care in anywhere? No, you just gotta make sure that they're connected with the right people. They work with HelloFresh. They also work, with the, what's the competitor for, for Ready Refresh? Nice. Sparklist. They also work for Sparklist. So you know, we actually have offices that are our friends, offices that we're connected with in Toronto, Canada, that work with Sparklist, and they do the Fuji, the Five Steps, the same thing. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah. We work for. Okay. Thanks to. Uh, I, I I forget. Okay. You're lost. Is this confusing? Sorry. Julian. I got lost, bro. So Inspire was through who? Inspire through Smart Circle. Okay. I just want to make sure I give me yeah, yeah, you can teach this. This is a great meeting to teach. Also, ready to press the smart circle. Um, Gen Mobile comes through Credico, who comes through, who hired Dish, and then Dish created Gen Mobile. I, I can even go deeper on Inspire, bro. So, Inspire is a company that was purchased by Shell. I just don't want to confuse you. But we work really, the company that we're working with is, is like Shell. Anybody know Shell? Gas yeah. Yeah. Oil. Shell has deep pockets. They purchased Inspire to create like a better image around their company. <laughs> that, that's NRG. Yeah. Yeah. That's fire. Because NRG is a big, it's a big company. Inspire is not as big. So NRG is a competitor. They're doing better, but it's okay. Okay, we work with HelloFresh. What were we selling for a minute? We had a contract with Woodbridge Solutions, a, a home improvement company. Um, what's that? Okay. Point being is, point being is, what it looks like here when you come to work, because again, we just don't, first of all, we don't have th two hours to explain to the, this to you on an interview, and it's also irrelevant, because if you ever went to an interview for Whataburger, did they mention Cisco? <laughs> no, because is it relevant to your position? No, it's not. So, what it looks like is New Burn Excel is working with Inspire, so we're skipping the supplier, okay? New Burn Excel works with Gen Mobile, so we're skipping two companies. We work with Frontier, so we're skipping that company. The companies that are in the middle are just the suppliers, okay? Now let's say Newburn Excel does a crappy job. So let's say all of us go out there today and we make a fraudulent sale, which I don't recommend because you, you'd be fired, right? But let's say you make a fraud, everybody know what I mean? Yes. Let's say you make a fraudulent sale, like you trick the system and you come up with a way to be uncompliant and you, right? Who, so Newburn Excel goes out of business because let's say we all become bad so Inspire says, hey, we get on all these bad sales. What do they do to our company? They're gonna cut it, does that make sense? They're gonna cut the contract. Now, hey, Inspire cuts the contract. Does that mean New Burning Sale goes out of business? No. No, why? Because they got, they got the places. other contracts. Work with other places, right? Chances are, though, they'll talk, which is bad for us. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. So we can lose Inspire if we're bad on Inspire. We can lose Ready Refresh if we're bad on Ready Refresh. We can lose it if we're not doing the right thing. But let's say, let's say we only worked with Ready Refresh, and New Burn Excel goes totally out of business because we can stay open as a company, but we cannot represent our clients. Basically, we cannot make what money. We can't make money. So then, by default, what would happen to the company? It would go bankrupt. We'd go out of business. Two weeks from today, you would Google New Burn Excel. Nothing would come up. Now, would there be a bunch of you and a bunch of people, customers plus people that work here, completely pissed? Yeah. Yeah. But they have no one to complain. So where do you think they're going to go? They're going to go to the client. And they're going to go to the client. Does that make sense? Yes. Is it fair? No. Not really. Because who fucked up? Me. The owner. Here, me. Me, which is not us, but me. That's essentially, they're looking at the owner. Does that make sense? Now, if you do a good enough job, here's how simple the business is. If, you do a, if you're working here, and you do a good enough job, and you say, hey, I want to move to Ohio, like Tracy. They're, they're paying him 50 grand to move. 50 grand, dude. Not 20, it's like 50,000 dollars. <laughs> He'll probably spend maybe 15, like actually moving. And like shipping the cars, flights, and et cetera. But yeah, I think 50 grand, like, I was like, I'll move. I would. <laughs> Most definitely. Not to oh, I'm not moving, but, but does that make sense? <clears throat> hey, the business is really simple. You work here. If you can come in here and learn everything we teach you, which is the training program. Where does the training program start? What's the first position? Entry level. Entry level, Entry level, level one, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. If you can figure out all of it, means you can basically do, you can, you can, you can run a mini Newburn Excel. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can run a mini Newburn Excel, and you do Inspire in another city. Does Inspire grow or not? Yes. yes. So then Inspire gives us a lot of money to train you to do that, because 
they're not going to show up here and train you. We got a frontier guy that comes every once in a while, buys his wings. You guys have seen him? <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, that's as much as involved as they get. They bring us posters. It's, it's true. But they don't train us because training is difficult. Does that make sense? Yes. Are you guys getting it? Yes. yes. Point being is, if you do a good enough job, the positive side is you can go through the training program. You can, we can basically, we pretty much open a new company for you, for Sarah in this case. And now Sarah's going to run Maplewood or Maplewood or whatever. <laughs> Maplewood Marketing in San Francisco. And now she will represent Ready Refresh through Maplewood, not through Newburn. So now she's her own thing. We can still coach her and help her, but she's her own bit deal, her own mm. business. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Now here's why. Here's why. If Sarah messes up in San Francisco, everybody's fraudulent. Does that hurt us? No. No, because we're separate branches. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. yeah. You get it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, the point is, now Sarah, or, or we do a bunch of fraudulent sales, we go out of business, and there's 90 people that, imagine, now you guys don't have checks. All the people in the back, they work, they don't have checks. Would they complain? Yeah. yeah. Complain now. All these customers are getting fraudulent. We do 1,800 to 1,000 sales a week here. All these customers would be completely like messed up, right? What do you think they would go? Do you think that when you have a really bad experience at a restaurant, do you complain? Yes. Oh yeah, right? My money back, right? <laughs> so all these people would complain, but they can't complain here, why? Because it's out of it's gone. gone. So uh, does that mean you would stop complaining? No. No, you get the, because maliciousness and, and complaints, they always find a way out. Would you agree? They never yeah. stay in. So they're gonna go either to Smart Circle or to Ready Refresh. So here's what's the most unfair situation of, of the planet here. It's because of misbehavior of the owner or because if we train Sarah not properly and she goes and does crapped up, crap stuff and she does messed up things, then she can create a bad image for the client. But whose fault is it? Yours. Me for not training her. Would you yes. agree? Yes. Because I didn't teach her like, hey, Sarah, this is what's important. This is not important. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is why it's so important, the training program. This is why you should not move up unless you qualify. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because we've seen it in the past happen where now Newburn Excel disappears, uh, some, goes out of business or whatever, all the people complaining, all the crap goes to the supplier. I, I'll challenge you, find bad stuff about Cisco. Find, go on Google and find bad stuff. And best, by the way, the internet's a very powerful tool. You can go on the internet and you can find anything you're looking for. Go on the internet and find why Mother Teresa is bad. Mm -hmm. And you will find articles about Mother Teresa being the devil. Everybody agree Mother Teresa's good? Yeah. Even if you don't know her, does that sound like a pretty sweet name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's a good person, right? Yes. If you try to Google that she's bad, you'll find that she's bad. What all I'm saying is, hey, if we go out of business, all these complaints are gonna affect him and, and, and them. We used to have a huge uh, point with Costco where there was an office in, Sa in Sacramento or Seattle that did not pay their, their people in the field. Like the older lady was keeping all the money and was not paying the people in the field. The company, what, what happened? Went out, went out of business. Dude, it went to the papers. They complained to Costco. Hey, Costco's not paying their employees. So Costco had to show up and say, hey, dude, 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 whoa, these are not my employees. They work for ABC Marketing in Seattle. But does that mess up? Yeah. Guess what happened when people Googled ABC Marketing? Complaint. It's closed. So guess what? The, the taste in the mouth for the customer is who messed them up? Costco. Costco. So Costco has a bad rep reputation. In the end, and if they got forgot after a minute. But why? Because lady, whoever that was running, it was a lady, that was running ABC Marketing messed up completely because she did not pay the money. It's like if, if we make you know $200 for a sale and we tell you, hey, no, it wasn't installed. It wasn't installed. It got canceled. All your stuff got canceled. Yeah. So your check is zero. That's crazy. We could say that, and guess what? You have to trust us because you have no way to prove it. You would just have to rely on, we're just, we don't want to go to prison, so hopefully that makes you trust us, right? But we're gonna pay you whatever is legally owed to you, plus more, but the point is, we could say that, you know what I mean? Any company could say, yeah, sorry, your check just, you know, there were some payroll problems, and you know, huh, yeah, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Owner takes the money, company goes out of business, all the crap goes to Smart Circle, all the crap goes to Ready Refresh. You Google Ready Refresh, and you're gonna find some crap. And, and it's it's messed up, you know why? Because most of it is probably not accurate because it comes from somebody doing a poor job at training. Some owner out there that told all their guys, hey, just tell everybody that the dispenser's free. Do you think we get more sales? We get some more sales, would you agree? Now what would happen though? A lot of complaints. 
customers would be canceling, they would create a lot of complaints. That makes sense? So I just want you guys to like, hey, before, we can explain this kind of how the business works, okay? We all work for each other. Like, do we need smart tech? Yeah, we, 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 we need them for the relationship with Ready Refresh. Now, if we don't work with them, we can work somewhere else. They do not control our business. Credico does not control what we do here. But we are in a mutual interest benefit. Does that make sense? So if anybody wants to learn a little bit more, we have a whole YouTube channel that explains it a little bit better. Go on YouTube and you can put Uber in Excel. There's a meeting there called How the Business Works. If you're like a curious guy or gal, and you can definitely uh, ask more questions. I know this looks like messy, but does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Anybody want to ask anything? Oh, cool. So how are you guys? Did you guys talk? We talk about conference. <laughs> and the reason I'm running this meeting is because this Sunday at the conference, you're going to see a bunch of offices that represent. Dude, we work with the North Charity Food Bank. No, not anymore. Actually, we work with uh, the. Um, breast cancer awareness charity. And there's gonna be people that are in the field that are gonna be at the Sunday conference that you're gonna meet. And they're not in the field doing water or Frontier or Gen Mobile. They're like, yeah, no, we just do charity. Yeah. And all we're connected through is the supplier. That's the only thing we have in common, but they have a different owner. They can have a different training program. They make more or less money. That's why I would encourage you not to ask questions about money. This is a sensitive topic and chances are we make more than them because door to door is just very profitable. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. uh, hey, you're gonna meet people that do, what other things? You guys are gonna meet people that work with Car Keys Express. It's a company that duplicates your car key for your van and for 50% off, you get another key fob for your vehicle and whatever. There's people that are like, they're the owner and they're like their own company, their own Newburn whatever, their own ABC marketing, represent by Car Keys Express and that's how they make money. And it has nothing, they don't even have a training program at all. It's like, yeah, you gotta go learn how to cut keys and then you're, you go in the van and you train and you're a locksmith, like literally. That's our business too, it has nothing to do. Does that make sense? Yes. They're gonna be all in the same meeting. You guys are all gonna be in the same meeting. You just gotta understand like, hey, what well, we have connection with this, maybe the supplier, but not even, it really is the mindset of all the people that are at this conference, they're gonna be entrepreneurial type people that wanna just more out of their life than just to make 70,000 a year. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, questions, I saw a hand. Is the does the YouTube yes. thing talk about what the Canadian company is? No, because okay, a uh, YouTube channel is about us, and it's yeah. mostly me speaking, yeah. and I have no idea about the Canadian. <laughs> so I can ask, I can email it, ask it. You want to go to Canada or, or well, something? Michigan is close to Canada. It's, it's really 30 cold. minutes away from where I came from. Right, Tommy, get this guy a ticket to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Yes, Deja. So as a new owner, like, how do you get the supplier to actually trust if you? you great you question, go great. Can you repeat your question? So as an owner, how do you get the, uh, the supplier to actually trust your business? They don't. Well, they don't trust you. They trust me. Okay. So when you finish the training program here, it's, it's almost like I certify you as you passed. So Tyler, Avantia, they just got certified as they passed. The supplier asked me like, hey, should we give our client Ready Refresh to that girl? Like, does she know what she's doing? I'm like, yes, yes, she does. She went through a whole training program. She went in the field entry level and knocked doors. And they're like, wow, so she's, she was willing to go through the entry level part? Like, yes, she was, or yes, he was. Okay, great. They ask us some questions and then basically, if, if they trust us, they, they trust Newburn as the first representative, as the first distributor, as I've been distributing for Ready Refresh, they'll ask me. We get an email every time, like Sarah gets promoted, she fills out paperwork and I get an email saying, and Tommy gets an email saying, hey Tommy, do you approve this person to represent Ready Refresh under her own stuff, not through you? And Tommy, if Tommy says no, I mean obviously the email says yes, but Tommy can say no because Tommy's the, the coach for Sarah. And same for me. That makes sense? Yes. There's a whole corporate world outside of it, it doesn't matter, you know what matters? Is do your best, okay, try hard, work hard, don't let the person next to you work harder. When you get people to tell you no, when somebody's trying to, they give you reject when, when whatever, when, when, you're, when your cousin that makes 26 bucks uh, a week tells you that this doesn't work, when, whenever you have, <laughs> when your Uncle Bob, whatever, tells you crap, okay, just know there's a whole, I would study before making choices. And I would also, hey, there's nothing, this has nothing to do with your level of effort. Like, I've seen people here that are not the smartest, that are finished the training program, they're making great money, you know, 100,000 or, or 150,000, and they're making, and all the difference is, is they just work harder. Like we have people with 1.9 GPA scores in high school, 
that finished the training program and they're making four thousand dollars a week would that solve your problems a little bit of them yeah. i would bet it solve about 90 <laughs> percent the other 10 percent is because you haven't found them yet <laughs> <laughs> no seriously it's not all about money but it is it is the training program is about effort and effort here does equal money where either you were in school or if you were at a different job you could put more effort than the person next to you does that mean you get paid more no no Hey, you put more effort than your boss at your last job. Does that mean you get paid more? No. no. But look, you could be here hired under Alejandro. If you work harder, you make more money than Alejandro. There's no such thing. You don't have to pay somebody. There's not. There's no weirdness here. It's at the end of the day we work with Ready Refresh. Do you think they have a good legal team to allow us to represent them where we're not doing sketchy stuff? Yes. Yes. They have about 200 lawyers that we have to go through before we get approved to even represent them with our with their name on our badge. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. And again, we just, we're just we just a little different, so they just don't know what we do because we're doing the training. But at the end of the day, that's how it works. If you want to have more questions or if you want to ask a little bit more, please feel free because I know it could get confusing and handwriting is terrible. But that's a little bit of how the business works. So you guys, does this help? Yes. yes. All right, back at 12.